to the show. Listen, we know it is spooky season if you're looking for a fun way to celebrate. Our next guest says throwing a murder mystery party is the way to go. So here to show us how is wedding and event planner Trevor Frankfurt. Welcome back to the show. Yeah. Yeah. Season. I love this. Okay, so, uh, you know, murder mystery parties are so much fun, and I know that during the pandemic, you started hosting virtual ones, which were amazing. Um, and so clearly you're a real pro at this. You know exactly what you're doing. So when it comes to throwing these events, you say the first step is pick a theme, pick a storyline. So tell us more specifically how to do that. Yes, yeah, so I was toying around with all sorts of different themes. There was circus, there was monsters, the 19... 19- 80s, master raid ball, but I landed on the 1920s because I just think it's so much more fun. There's costumes and characters. You really get to play around with it. And our storyline today, it's 1924, and the uh, the most, the richest gangster in town is Derek Capone. He is throwing an exclusive dinner party that he's invited only women to. Oh. Because he's quite the playboy. But what he didn't know is that all of these women had a personal vendetta against him, and one of them hated him so much that they killed him. Ooh, I like this. Right before dinner. So we get to still eat dinner and play the game and figure out who the murderer is. Of course, of course. This is wonderful. So uh, how many people do you need to play? Like, what is, is there an ideal number? Yeah, you know, I always say the more the merrier, but it really depends on how many people you can fit at your dining room table, right? Right. So eight to 10 is usually a good number. Today we're playing a shortened version because we're on TV and we're having five people play. So four guests, one host. Oh, I right. love that. Okay, so you've landed on a theme, you've landed on your guest list. Now we have to put together a script for the night. So how do we do that? So you really want to get into the nitty gritty of this storyline and you want to write a script for the host who's going to guide the night along and also drop some clues. But you also want to pre-write the questions and answers that your guests are going to use because, because every round is questions and answers. So every course that we're gonna eat, you're playing the game. Got it. Now, it is a game, and if you're like me, which I know you are, very competitive. Just a little, Trevor. (laughs) You wanna win, right? So if you're the murderer, you wanna kinda psych people out and maybe not seem so much like you're the murderer. And if you're one of the innocent guests, but you also wanna psych people out by maybe being a little bit more suspicious than you should be. Right. The ultimate murder mystery is keeping people guessing right to the end. I love that. Okay, so once everything is written, it's time to create the invitations. What do you need to relay? So everything you want to do with the party should go on the invitation. You wanna say where it is, what it is, what time it's starting, and of course you wanna put in the character name and their description so you can start getting into character, plan your costumes, and be ready for the night. Love it. Okay, you've also done this incredible, uh, like elegant and on theme tablescapes. Talk, Talk about how this came together. Yeah, so sticking with the 1920s, little mysterious vibe, lots of gold, lots of black, very Gatsby-esque. Feathers. Lots of feathers. But you also have these name cards. Uh, These are with our character names so that we can address each other on the night of as our characters. Okay, crime scene on a box. What's in these boxes? So I made these boxes for every guest. They're from the dollar store. A little bit of glue gun putting the do not cross on there. And inside is everything that you need for the party. So there's envelopes with each round and all the cue cards that you need with all your questions and answers and introductions. You also have a pen and paper so you can take notes throughout the game. We got you covered. I love it. All right, Trevor, come on over here where the real party is at, which is the food and drink table. Yes. And tell us how you put your menu together. So I had the most fun planning this menu for this party because everything we're going to eat and drink today has a little mystery to it, a reveal, if you will. Oh, my God. Starting with our cocktail, the Flossatini. (laughs) Inside your glass is a little bit of candy floss, but inside your shaker, there's black vodka. Did you know there's such a thing as black vodka? No. I know. And there's also cranberry juice, a little bit of vanilla extract. What you want to do is pour that into the candy floss okay. and watch what happens. That's ready? Okay. Right on top of there. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's so mysterious. It turned into black smoke. Oh, that was so cool. I love it. So I love your, your concept. There's three sort of parts to the murder mystery, mystery which means three courses. So what have you brought for the appetizer? So first course is served in a pumpkin, but what's inside? (gasps) Is it pasta? Is it salad? Let's check. After you. Oh my gosh, you ready? 
It's soup. <laughs> it's a, <laughs> a carrot and ginger soup. But what I love about this is if you hollow out the pumpkin just before you're serving it, then the remnants of the pumpkin are inside the soup yeah. too. It just seeps through. So you also have the pumpkin flavor to it. That's that so is smart. such a festive uh, like dish for Yum. this season though. So um, what do you suggest for the main course? Okay, so this is my favorite course. It's a meatball. <laughs> but if you're paying attention, there's a, there's a little mystery element to it. So why don't you dig right in there, cut, cut right through the okay. middle and open it up inside. Oh! Oh, yeah! Yeah! It's an elevated take on spaghetti and meatballs. Look at Okay, so since it's a murder mystery party, you made some cookies that fit perfectly with the theme. Tell us about it. That's right, so they're in the shape of Derek. And, uh, Derek Capone. When you He's not resting in peace. He is definitely not. After what you're about to do with him, you're gonna break it in half. Okay. Go really hard with that. And there's a oh, blood it's inside. it's oozing, it's oozing the blood of the murdered vic oh, murder really, victim. Really easy to make. It's three cookies. The middle cookie has a Thanks. little bit of a square inside of it so you can fill it with jam and icing and sprinkles and then you just layer it up. This is incredible, Trevor. I almost called you Derek, but he's dead. Derek uh, is dead. Thank you so much for these great party ideas. And listen, don't go anywhere because Trevor's hosting a murder mystery party for us after the break. Hey there, wasn't that great? Do you know where you can find some equally good content? Our YouTube page. It's filled with discussions, debates, and some laughs. Head there now, like and subscribe.